Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, let us pause for a moment before we begin our discourse. Close your eyes and allow the sense of time and space to fall away. Envision streams of love or light radiating from within the wellspring of your heart center, and then flowing out in concentric circles to encompass everyone and everything on Earth. Now see them continue upward and outward toward all the planets and star systems within your solar system. Via your inner vision, watch as billions of minuscule streams of light radiate back to you from every sentient being on Earth. It is important that you set aside the hate, fear, judgment and your different beliefs so you may connect with the core love essence of your brothers and sisters around the world. You are unique and yet you are the same for within every soul there is a white fire memory seed atom of pure divine light. Allow yourself to be lifted to a rarefied place where you are a soaring, radiant being of light connecting to every other being of light within this sub-universe. There is no separation. There can be no separation, no matter how far you journey forth from the heart center of the Creator. It does not matter what assignment you have accepted down through the ages or the appearance of the cloaks of flesh you have assumed. It does not matter how many times you have divided your white fire seed atom into smaller and smaller fragments, you have always been connected to the Supreme Creator, our Father or Mother God, and to one another as well. The connection has never been broken and IT never will be. Breathe deeply and slowly as you sense multicolored, luminescent, billowing waves of light filled with the love or light and the virtues of our Father or Mother God surround you. Within these rarefied waves of light are all the energy and programmed memory seed atoms you will ever need to build your field off dreams, to lay the foundation for the new age, and to reclaim your masterhood. Know that the barriers of the astral planes between us no longer exist. Even though we were never truly parted, know that we now have permission to strengthen our connection with you moment by moment, day by day. No longer are you children stumbling through the dark on a path to nowhere. No longer will you feel as though you are pawns of fate. You are awakening and you are remembering that it has all been a grand experiment, however, the experiment is swiftly coming to a close. As you realize your God-given rights as a co-creator, no longer will you create that which brings pain and suffering. Why would you? when just as easily you can create joy, peace, and abundance. All you have to do is to strive to stay heart-centered and soul-focused. Will you give us permission to be an integral part of your life, and open your mind to the possibility that we are real? When you do so, you will move into the magic realm of harmlessness, whereby you no longer feed the negative energy mass consciousness force field of the astral planes. Instead, you will add your vibrant, loving energy to the etheric field of love or light that surrounds the earth the golden cosmic grid of illumination. Can you not sense your old world and reality gradually slipping away? The negative thought forms of the mass consciousness belief structure that were captured in the lower astral, emotional, planes are being swiftly dissolved. The frequencies of extreme duality and polarity consciousness are gradually losing their hold on you. Multitudes of you are slowly returning to balance and harmony, thereby loosening the grip of your shadow self as you project more and more light into the darkness. The rules of the game are also changing as you move upward on the path of enlightenment. It is often called the narrow path, and this is true. Each of you is held accountable, not judged, according to your level of awareness. Your guardian angels and higher self are constantly presenting you with opportunities or challenges to assist you in your awakening process. A great percent of the masses are still swayed by various primitive, religious, dogmatic teachings. It is most difficult to release and move beyond the established ideas and belief which most people have been subjected to from a very early age. Racial, cultural and religious beliefs create strong emotional boundaries. As you become an observer and begin to operate within the universal laws of creation and the rules of cause and effect, you begin to see the wisdom and justice of all that occurs within your life. If you are to gain mastery of yourself and your world, you must begin to fine-tune your spiritual awareness. 
Remember, you must agree to and submit to a particular authority before it has any power over you. It is also important that you understand, whatever realm of consciousness you are currently attuned to and functioning within, whether dense or refined, that it is your reality for the present time. If you do not like what is happening in your personal world, change your beliefs and your actions, and your personal reality will quickly follow suit. Only the brave and courageous ones have the strength, will and determination to break the restrictive bonds of the lower dimensions, and to step forward to join the ranks of the seekers of wisdom. It is vitally important that you clear your mind of superstition and dogma and seek your own higher wisdom and truth. Only when you attune to the realms of the highest fourth and the entry levels of the fifth dimension will you attain a greater sense of self so that you may begin to merge with greater and more expansive facets of your higher self. You are in the process of developing your sixth sense the intuitive mind, whereby you will have direct communication with your soul self and certain facets of your oversoul higher self. It is the beginning phase of creating a direct line to the cosmic storehouse of divine wisdom. Through trial and error, you are learning to become proficient in the use of the universal laws of manifestation. The results of your choices are quickly brought into your awareness so that you will know that the laws of cause and effect are immutable and you really are the creator of your reality and the world around you. Greater awareness begets greater opportunities but also more responsibility. The spiral journey homeward can be a gradual climb or a swift one. However, it entails making the right choices within your level of enlightenment, and also striving to use your abilities to their highest potential. My brave ones, do not seek God in the heavens or some far away, unattainable place, for the essence of the Creator, a spark of divinity, resides within your sacred heart. Many of you are becoming aware of your divine origins, however, you have only a slight inkling of your vast potential as a bearer of cosmic love or light. It is vitally important that you become attuned to the ever-increasing frequencies of the new divine blueprint for the Aquarian Age, for they will assist you in attaining the status of a self-master, which is necessary if you wish to move forward gracefully on the ascension path into the radiant new world of the future. Beloved Ones when you allow the shackles of time, space, and the density of the lower dimensions to fall away, your visions will become sharp and clear. Your resolve will strengthen, and you will confidently move forward with ease and grace, for your constant mantra will be, for the greatest and best good of all. Remember, you should place no expectations or restrictions on how or when your visions will manifest. As more and more of your cosmic origins become available, Many of you have become uncomfortable and fearful when you read some of the stories of your ancient history and the messages which describe the great diversity of creation. It is up to you to accept or discard what you will claim as your truth. We have told you that there is much truth woven within the myths and stories of your past probably more than you would like to believe. Since the question has been asked of our messenger, allow us to give you an example. Down through the ages, Humans have always had a great fascination with dragons, both good and evil, and they are one of your most enduring myths. Dragons are depicted as great beings with wings and long sweeping tails, often with colored scales for skin, and always breathing fire from their mouths and nostrils. Some people have a great affinity for these creatures, however, mostly they are feared and depicted as dangerous or evil. Some years ago, when this question was posed to our messenger, we took her on an inner journey out into the galaxy so that she could experience the true origins of the dragon myth. Many, many eons ago, as this sub-universe was being seeded with its divine blueprint, envision yourselves as God-conscious beings of great radiance. You were magnificent, expansive and flowing beings who contained within all of the rays, colors, virtues and attributes of the Creator. Some of you chose to display the rippling, iridescent colors of what might appear to be scales, while others experimented with many other forms. As a co-creator son, you soared and experimented, leaving great trails of light that could be described as wings and a sweeping tail. And as you used your powers of creation, you breathed forth great beams of God's first ray of divine will and power, or the fire of creation. 
Oh, what wondrous beings you were, and what wondrous deeds you wrought as you soared throughout the great void of this new, unmanifest sub-universe. All of this was in preparation for your eventual descent down through the multi-dimensions and into the physical worlds. However, many brave souls agreed to remain in the Dragon Brigade in service under the great builders of form and archangels. The Dragon Brigade is active throughout this sub-universe at every level in which the programmed divine blueprint is to be made available for manifestation within the material realms of existence. Only those of you who have been able to move out of the confines of your physical vessel and soar in spirit to the higher realms have an inkling of what those wondrous realms are really like. We have told you that the visions and explanations we give you are of the most simplistic nature and are only a minuscule portion of how it truly is where we reside. So you see, in order to bring forth these wondrous visions of how it was in the beginning and the multitude of forms you have assumed you have had to filter them through your physical mental faculties. The dragons and many of your monsters are only your version or vision of some of God's greatest creations, and your concepts could not be further from the truth. Each and every one of you is responsible for the energy you draw forth from the cosmic bank of primal life substance. How are you spending your spiritual inheritance? As we embark on this important phase of evolution together, Please take time to define your commitment to yourselves and to your universal spiritual family. Know that we, the angelic forces, under the direction of our Father or Mother God stand steadfastly beside you. When you sense we are near, trust your feelings, for in truth we are beaming our love or light into your auric field. Listen to the whisperings of your soul, for it will, unerringly, assist you in following the best course of action and help you to make the wisest choices. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Michael.